Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. This is how not to play Sergeant Hammer. So Sergeant Hammer has a queue and it's called Spider Mines. So you and you have a large area. It's a point and click basically. It gives you like this bar, this uh, this uh, rectangle bar, uh, and your and your AOE that you can place, and the Spider Mines will form along the bar. And what the Spider Mines do is they deal an X amount of damage and they slow enemy any enemy hero caught in them. Uh, you have Concussion Blast, it's a large cone in front of uh, Sergeant Hammer. Uh, it has two bars that make up the cone. The first one closer to Sergeant Hammer knocks the enemies back further, and then the one that's the second part of the bar only knocks them a little bit further away. Uh, not as much as the in inner blast. It's great for uh, getting people off of you. Then you have Neo Steel Plating, it's your E, you click it, and you gain 25 armor for 2 seconds. Oh, and then if you go if you're in siege mode, you gain 100% more armor, so you gain 50 armor. Then you have siege mode, her trait. As you may be able to notice, Sergeant Hammer is a tank, and she sieges up like one. If you are familiar with StarCraft, you are aware of the, uh, the Terran siege tanks, but they siege up, and when they siege up, they are capable of doing uh, splash damage and vast amounts of damage. Hammer, I don't think she gets that much damage increase, but she does get splash damage, which and the range, which is super important. There's not much else to say. You'll see it in the video of what I how, of how it works. Uh, the biggest part of it is you become completely immobile unless you get a certain talent for it. Uh, then, like most other heroes, Sergeant Hammer has two ultimates. The first one is Blunt Force Gun. It deals X amount of damage to non-structure enemies in its path. Back in the day, it used to deal damage to structures, but not anymore. And then you have your second uh, ultimate, Napalm Strike. You deal X amount of damage on impact and leave a napalm area that deals X amount of damage per second and lasts for sec four, 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 four seconds. It's a it's really good for bursting down towers and keeps and forts and such in the core. Uh, so that's hammer. Let's get into it. Okay, and we find ourselves on Tomb of the Spider Queen. What's really funny is I just finished doing that map as a, my murky and went awful, and this is actually good maps for Hammer. I haven't played Hammer since her rework, so don't expect all that much out of me. Uh, although, granted, at this point you probably don't. But we're going to go with... Uh, hmm. Ten seconds remain. We're gonna go with a, a three, advanced artillery. Okay. What this does is just makes it so my attacks flash better whenever I go in siege mode. And then, uh, what else? And increase the splash radius too. Splash damage and radius. So we're gonna siege up right here. They do not want to fight under me. They do not want to. Oh, we're going to. Enemy slain. Ah! Okay. You are a Oof. fine warrior, Eric. my friend. Moving or losing. Okay, heal up there. Now we're going to go top lane to help stop the Zagara push. Um, Sergeant Hammer, obviously, is already mounted. Well, perhaps not, obviously. Um, Sergeant Hammer does not have a mount. She, uh. We're going to do that so I can get the, uh, creep done. Uh, she just has thrusters that go off for, for a limited time that uh, increase her movement speed. We're gonna do a plating, get rid of these bastards. I want to move up so I can. Whoop, 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 whoop. Now those are my mines uh, that I'm using. Uh, they arm after 1.25 seconds and they slow enemies. So basically it's just a method for me to keep people at distance. 
just want to keep focusing on her. I'm going to move up just a little bit so I can get within range of that tower. And we're just going to attack it. I want to put this right here. She might be dead. Nope. Now, I put the mines in there so that way I can have vision. Uh, we're gonna do. Ooh, basic, basic attack heal. Uh, we're gonna hit Z, and that'll put me out of siege mode really quickly. How does this work exactly? Basic, basic attack will siege mode heal for 10% of the damage dealt. Well, you hammer deals a shit ton of damage, so that's great. We're gonna drop those right there, and then we're gonna move up. Yeah, look at all that healing I'm getting. Okay, and then we're gonna... I just want to get right into range. I'm gonna drop those right there. It is really dumb to ignore a hammer like this. Better to die than live in fear. Returning traitors receive no weapon. Just avoid that. Oof. Drop that right there. Uh, for my level seven talent, I'm probably gonna go. I'm gonna go hover. So that way, I, I have mobility while I'm in siege mode. Okay, we're gonna get out of this. up and then get out of there and then we're gonna go hover we're gonna heal there we go so now I'm not completely immobile Peace the hell out. Back for a tuna. Uh, level 10, what I'll be going, getting is uh, Napalm Strike. Uh, Blood Force Gun used to be amazing whenever I dealt damage to towers and everything, but now it no longer deals damage to towers. Uh, it just clears out enemy waves, minion waves, and I don't want to clear out minion waves considering they have butts and we need to collect those butts. Put those there, and I want to move up, and I want to hit Jaina. Yes, it's very cumbersomely slow, but it's worth it. I should have waited to go up a little further, but oh well. I want to push this up as far as I can go. There we go. The farther we can push up, the better up we'll be. I definitely want this forward. Because that'll equalize us in uh, XP. So what Napalm Strike will do is it'll help help us uh, clear buildings and damage and such. Yeah, stay stuck. Damn. Very good. Very good indeed. Uh, I'm watching bottom, and they're all still bot, so we can definitely get top. We're gonna go nade bomb strike, and that's gonna help that. Okay, 
Okay, and then we're gonna go black. Drop that. They're still not haven't responded to the top yet. I'm actually really surprised about that. We need to very watch very carefully. Get keep if we get keep this will be huge for us. Very well done. Get out. I just put that there in case they decided to follow. I want to get this camp. In my okay. Now I'm going to move up right here. Garrett moved up a little too far. You definitely do not want to fight under uh, Sergeant Hammer's range if you can help it. Although, it's unless you're the ally team, in which case you definitely want to. I'm going to turn in my butts real quick. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to pick for my 13 talent. I'm going to go with uh, Siege Mode or Attacks Reduce to the scroll down. I'll drop that on top of there, so that way that starts taking yeah, damage. I'll we'll drop those right there, and then we're going hyper pulling engines. She's dead. She should be dead. I died mostly because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. I'm so unused to her skill set. Because used to, before, this Neo Steel, Neo Steel plating was not a thing. It was her, uh, her D, her siege mode was her E at the time. That's the last time I played her. Uh, a very weak excuse, I know, but my muscle memory for her has been thrown off. So I was just kind of like, well, uh, duh, uh, 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 candy bores uh, while during that engagement. So level 16, I don't know what I'm going to pick. Um, probably going to go Giant Killer. Oh yeah, definitely Giant Killer. She's dead. Shouldn't be focusing Sonya. Beautiful. And we're going giant killer. Drop that right there.
we need probably to get out. Just in case they decide to follow. that in case they decide to walk up behind me. I'm gonna drop that right there on top of her and she's dead. I know they want help and I can't help you right there. We're gonna back get her off of Illidan. Okay, we need to get out. We're gonna plate. We're gonna drop that in case they want to follow. I must go. Okay. Now I don't know if they made the twenty different events. Lava strike, ranges increased by seventy-five, and impact has been. We'll probably do. Uh, Ultra capacitors, that way I, my damage I can attack a lot faster. Oh, that would have been a good swap, though. I probably could have ended that. I didn't hit my R. Up. Should be game right here. Maybe not. I cannot hold. Um, I'm gonna sit right here. That she tried. Alright, so yeah, definitely going ultra capacitors. Illidan. Okay, we're gonna. Yeah, I knew I was dead. So yeah, these are my stats. I don't want to say I'm carrying the team because I'm not that kind of douche. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, what does this do exactly? Hitting enemy heroes with basic attacks while the siege mode grants 5% attack speed for 5 seconds up to 40%. Grody. Uh, that should have been GG earlier, but I guess we just kind of got pushed back a little bit too much. But it should be with this uh, uh, objective. I wish they would have waited for me to be up. That way I could push with them. Uh, but, oh well. So we're going to zoom as fast as we can. It's going to take me a hot minute since we don't have any uh, way to go faster. Oh, wait, I have a V, so we'll try again. Do it one more time. I have to do this every 30 seconds. It's going to take me a hot minute to get there. Chances are the game will be over by the time I get there. Proceed. Or not. We'll get there. Slowly but surely we'll get there. Okay. And we just sit here and we attack. GG! 
Okay, that was Sergeant Hammer. Thank you so much for joining me. I, I hope you uh, got a little bit of insight. Look at that. Thank you for the MVP game. Much appreciated. Um, hopefully you learned something. If you didn't learn something, no. Thanks for joining me. Hope you have a great day and you take care.